Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you the different methods of creating circulation in your tank and oxygen in your tank to get the best performance. As you can see in this tank at the moment, the water is very still, very stagnant, which is exactly what you don't want. What I'm going to show you is how to get your filter set at the right place to what break I'm now is, as you can see, I've put the internal filter in there and turned it on. You can just see at the top the waves and that's basically breaking the surface very slightly. What you need to bear in mind is that the volume of the tank will impact the size of a filter you get. Now on a tank this size, it's an Aquail 50 litre bow front, um, an internal filter of this size is more than enough. You want to aim for something, an output of an average of four to five times the, size, the volume. So on something like this you want to be looking at a 250 litre per hour or more. Now normally you would put the filter at the back of the tank, so it would go from here right to the back. I've just done it at the front for display purposes of a video. If you know, if you can look closely on the video, you'll see that the water is circulating round. So when it's going in round the tank, into the bottom of the filter, it will go through all the media and then out again at the top. Now what I've done here is I've set it out to most people set it where it just sort of agitates the surface, which is what you want. The more agitation, the better. Now the common myth is that an air pump will provide air to the tank. It's a bit of a controversial subject because, although technically it does, it's more for agitating the surface, which I'll show you in a moment. As you can see here with the air pump turned on, there's a considerable amount more water movement, which is exactly what you want in a tank. The more movement that you've got in there allows it to cycle better, you've got less chance of any dead spots forming. It basically helps to keep the tank clean and the filter perform well. The main thing we're after here is not trying to get the most bubbles. Most people will think that an air pump provides the air to the tank. This isn't technically true. What you'll find is the more bubbles are coming out a lot faster and they're breaking the surface as you can see here and every time the water surface breaks oxygen is being allowed to get into the water from the surface now as the filters come in here you can see the same thing with the agitation but it's not as vivid with the air pump using the air pump and the filter together work very well especially if you have it positioned in the right place. I often tend to place my air pump more from here right to where the filter is and then the flow from the filter can push the bubbles back around that way. It just keeps, every time the bubbles pop on the surface it breaks the surface to allow that more oxygen in. Now as you can see from here what I've done is I've raised the filter so the surface is actually breaking quite fast. Now this is the best way to set the air pump refilter. From the top view here you can see a little bit better to get a better idea of what the filter is doing. How it basically works is it's all impeller driven. It draws in the water through the bottom of the filter and straight back out the top. So what I've got here is the outlet is just breaking the sur water surface so it pumps out above the water. This then creates a good flow as you can see here. And all you're doing here is adding oxygen to the water and circulating the water very well. Now if you look on top of a filter, you can most filters will have a little tiny nozzle. This you can attach an airline to and it adds extra air into the filter in the flow. And also there's a plus and a minus sign. On this one it's in the form of a nozzle, most of them it's in the form of a toggle. On the plus it's a faster flow, on a minus it's a slower flow. Now on tanks with external filters, obviously the inlet will be fed in from, through a pipe on one side of the tank and through an outlet on the other side. Now you can get the same effect through a spray bar, which basically disperses a jet over several holes placed on a long bar. Uh, this breaks the surface a bit better, but most external filters will have an outflow 
that just disperses it into the tank. It does circulate the water quite well, but a lot of other people prefer to use power heads. I know this isn't technically a power head, but it's the same principle. As you can see here, it's an impeller. On most power heads, they will be covered up. It is always worth mentioning that small fish can be sucked into these, and they do get sucked into these quite often. An old pair of tights wrapped around with an elastic band over the inlet often stops this. The water then gets drawn through the outlet. This one again has a nozzle on the top that you can attach an airline to add extra air into the tank. These are usually very high powered, anywhere from about 600 litres per hour, anywhere up to about 5,000 litres per hour and more. These are great for creating more flow into the tank, more circulation into the tank. You always want to point it more from one end of the tank to the other rather than the back to the front. This allows the water to circulate around the whole tank properly. And all it's basically doing is any debris that's on the floor, any waste on the floor, it can help it pick it up from the sand, from the gravel, from the substrate and direct it into the filter inlet. Wave makers can work slightly different to power heads. Power heads are more directional flow, whereas wave makers tend to move the water up and down, representing waves as if in you'd see in the ocean. These are more commonly found in marine tanks, but are becoming more popular in freshwater and tropical tanks. These usually come in different sizes. They can be extremely powerful, some of them up to 20,000 litres per hour. They do come in single, double or even more. You'll often find that they tend to stick onto the side of a tank, but a lot of them now actually use magnets, which means that the power is on the outside of a tank, and the magnet causes the propeller to flow on the inside of a tank, as you can see on the diagram. Yet another increasingly popular form of filtration and water circulation or movement is the air-driven sponge filter. As you can see on the left of the picture is a nozzle which the airline connects to via an air pump. The air then is drawn through the filter out of the outlet at the top. But as it's doing this, it's drawing the water in through the sponges, which in turn catches all the debris and have as a good bacteria on there. These are great as well because they're open sponges, shrimp, snails, small fish love to feed on them, flacos, etc. Now I'm not going to go too much into the different kinds of filtration for your tank, that's something I'm going to touch up on other videos. What I'm basically wanting to show you here is how to circulate your tank, how to put plenty of oxygen into your tank, and also that you need to not rely on just the air pump alone. The air pump will provide some sort of oxygen to the tank, but it's a very minimal amount. As I mentioned earlier, it is more about agitating the surface. It's always best to rely on the pump mainly, the filter, mainly as a source of oxygen to the tank and circulation. It is obviously better to have two if you're going to have it in the form of either your filter and a power head or your filter and a wave maker or your filter and an air pump. The best thing about this, this is that if anything happens to the filter or to the air pump or to the wave maker or the power head etc, you've got a backup supply in the tank which is going to keep it oxygenated, it's going to keep it circulating. Without this you'll find that the water becomes very stagnant, the oxygen drops significantly, the fish become more starved of the oxygen, they tend to panic a little bit and then deaths start to happen. It's something that can be prevented very easily but also it is a mistake that's very easy to make. Well that's the end of this video, um, basically all you need to remember is that well oxygenated, well circulated water will keep the fish very happy, very healthy, it will help aid your filtration and it will keep everything happy altogether. Mm -hmm.